I'm Sally Rush Wagner. I'm the founder of the Matilda Jocelyn Gage Foundation in Fayetteville, New York. My name's Ann Mosier, and I'm a professor in the geography department at Syracuse University, and I teach urban historical geography. And my name's Deborah Ryan, and I'm a PhD student in cultural foundations and education at Syracuse University. A lot of people have a real phobia about maps and one of the things that I'm trying to do is break down some of that fear about using maps. They're filled with wonderful information. You can learn so much about a local community. But really what I'm trying to do in these presentations that I'll be giving around the state is to get people to draw their own maps of their own communities and to then explain what they've drawn to others. And in the process, they start telling stories and sharing memories about prior experiences that they had in that place. Well, my whole take on map making is that it shouldn't be something that's just scientific and scary and consisting of maps that are relegated to places like this map room, that mapping is something that we can do and it can actually be a form of art. I grew up in Aberdeen, South Dakota and that was introduced to Matilda Jocelyn Gage through my mother, who was a friend of her granddaughter's. And that's what actually brought me to Syracuse. I've taught in the honors program for 15 years now, I think, and I've actually been teaching in the area of women's studies since 1970. I'm deeply honored to be uh, recognized as a public scholar uh, by the New York Council for the Humanities. A democracy requires an informed citizenry, and we're part of the creation of that knowledge that's required for a democracy to function. But beyond that, it's not just the dissemination of knowledge both ways. It's also grappling with the tough questions that we're facing in the country. The logistics of the public programming is that we go where people want us to go. And so instead of saying, come to us, we say, we'll come to you. Where's a church? Where's a library? Where's an organization that has a question or an interest in what we're talking about? They bring us and we speak for about an hour and we share our information and then the fun begins. Because I'll tell you as a scholar, I have been more impacted by the questions that I'm asked, the connections that I make. There are wonderful scholars that are uh, really up on the area that I'm interested in, and I learn as much in each of these talks as I'm uh, able to, uh, to share. It's very exciting. and. I teach museum studies and when I talk with students about their experiences and memories of museums and they all get excited and everyone has a story to share. So for me this is a great opportunity to go to communities and talk to people about their experiences and have them begin a conversation with each other about what the museum and their community means to them. Well, my, museums are often overlooked as an important site for educational learning. I mean, there's so much focus now on K-12 through and Common Core, but museums and cultural centers have always been a, a gem in the community where people can go for free choice learning, self-guided learning, informal learning, whatever you choose to call it, but you make the choice to go there and you leave learning something. So I think through the various settings that I hope to um, different venues that I hope to go to, that audiences will be surprised when they come, that you know, they see what my topic is, but when they come, they're gonna, they're gonna learn a whole lot more about the humanities. So we're here waiting, and we are really eager to go out into community and share the information that we have and learn from the community as well. We're out there, I think, partly to get people to, to engage in conversation with each other. Sure, we'll be making presentations and and sharing our academic research, but to be honest with you, I'm far and away more interested in what New Yorkers are going to have to say about my maps and, and the data that I've collected uh, than I am about what I'm saying about it right now. So I, I can't wait to hear their interpretations.